Sure. Security expert uh, Morgan Wright here now on why we have to be paying very, very close attention to this sort of thing. You yeah. warned for as long as we've been chatting over the years that yes. something like that here, um, we have a very vulnerable uh, uh, grid structure for that. Uh, we saw hints of that four or five years ago uh, in the New York metropolitan area. Right. God forbid, right? Look, that happened in Ohio. And then, you know, Neil, here's the problem. That's right. You're is right. That it everybody... started in Ohio. You're... Go ahead. Yeah. People are looking for an action movie like Jason Bourne, you know, the Bourne conspiracy. They want to see things happening really fast. This is more like that scene out of Austin Powers where it takes five minutes for the steamroller to approach and everybody's screaming. You know, people lose the, the, the sense of urgency because it doesn't happen right away. Well, when you lose 80,000 homes, lose power in Ukraine, you're attacking now Israel. Look, we are probably the most vulnerable uh, infrastructure out there right now because we have not just hundreds of thousands, millions of homes relying on this grid. And so, Neil, if they don't take this seriously, you'll get a cascading series of events and they're going to time it just like they did with Israel to hit during in a peak time where power usage is up because people are freezing out there, record cold. All right, uh, Morgan, you always indulge my idiotic questions, so let me begin. <laughs> when you talk to defense guys, they say, yeah, we have backups upon backups upon backups. A lot of uh, uh, shopping centers and, and banks have generators. In other words, that they're protected in the event someone or something bad happens on the grid, you say. Uh, yeah, we, we, I'm sure they said that when New York lost power and when Ohio, well, look, we have backups. We're okay. Look, it's not the point of having backups. You know, that's like saying, hey, look, it's just a flesh wound. You know, I'll be all right. <laughs> the point is, what are we doing to stop the attacks in the first place? Because if you, depending on the timing, look, it's not just the fact that you have backups. It's the impact on public safety, on services, on law enforcement, on fire, on hospitals. How long can, how, how long can somebody operate uh, during the Y2K, you know, the big deal? But when we went out and we locked at plans, we asked people, when's the last time you tested these plans? While people say they have plans, Neil, the big gap there is when's the last time you tested it and how long can you really operate if something happens? And I tell you right now, the vast majority of people don't know. They say we have a plan, but they don't know how it works. All right, Morgan, thank you. That was a very polite way of saying, Neil, that was the, one of the dumbest questions no, I have ever no, been asked. Not at all. You got good questions. All right. No. Thanks, buddy. Very good having you.